Hello, everybody. <coughs> this is Yoko's Anime Reactions. <coughs> and now I'm finally at my computer again. My nephew has gotten off the bus. My mom has gotten home. And, uh... <coughs> Actually, in a bit, I'm probably going to go take a shower just so I can be clean for work tonight. And also, obviously, clean for, you know, more recordings. Uh, I saw a bunch of your comments, uh, one of you asking for more Black Clover, another asking for Fruits Basket. Yes, I will work on both of those. You guys don't have to worry. I'm actually going to probably try and finish Fruits Basket because I've only got, what, 17 episodes left? So, for season one, anyway. As for whether I will get to season two and three, uh, still up in the air, maybe. Only if uh, you guys really, really want me to, or if I'm really, really into it by that point. I mean, I've seen the original Fruits Basket, and it's good, but I don't know if I'm going to be as hyped for it as, uh, for example, uh, Dr. Stone. Like I was for that, because as soon as I got done with season one, I went to season two. And I've done that a couple times with shows. Uh, Overlord, for example, I did that with that. Uh, what other shows did I automatically go with the sec ne next season after I finish the season? Uh, My Hero Academia, I think, definitely got that treatment. Um, I would say Fairy Tale, but I wouldn't even know what seasons are what at this point, so. But yeah, a bunch of shows did get that treatment, and that was good. Anyway, but yeah, I will work on a good portion of the shows that I've got on my list, and once I finish a bunch of them, I can start then working on the other ones that I've been neglecting, like Soul Eater, um, uh, Story of Sion Coco, aka Sion Coco Monogatari, um, and a bunch of the other shows that I've kind of been, um, neglecting a bit. Anyway... <sighs> this is going to be my review for uh, Dragon Ball Super episodes 7, 8, and 9. I think I got to at that point. And essentially, Vegeta is, is really freaking out about all this because this is Beerus we're talking about. None of them could hold the candle to him at this point. None of them. Not even if they all attack together. Using all their best moves and everything, they still ain't gonna do a thing. Trunks and Goten even tried fusing. That obviously did not do a gosh darn thing to him. And, uh, Beerus is getting annoyed at all this, and planned on, uh, destroying the planet. And, um... Yeah, Bulma finally decided to get involved and slapped Beerus. Obviously, it probably didn't hurt him. He noticed it, obviously. And uh, he ended up slapping her back, not with 100% of his power, because that would probably take her head off, if I am being completely honest here. And I'm, assuming he get, I'm assuming he used about as much strength as she did, I guess. But it did send her flying back, and thankfully the boys caught her. But she was kind of unconscious. This ticked Vegeta off big time. And he attacks Beerus. Trying to find some way of taking him down. Obviously this did not work. And, uh... By all this is going on... Uh, Whis is getting a sushi platter made for the both of them, and the guy who's making the sushi is kind of not really paying as much attention to the fighting as that's going on until the end. But yeah, Whis is very polite to the guy, and the guy is obviously polite back, and... Yeah, um... It got to the point where, uh... Shoot. Uh, dang it. I can't remember exactly what happens in each episode, but... Boma had tried to convince Beerus to not blow up the planet, because if he did, they would miss out on all the great delicacies of food 
that the planet had to offer because every country probably has its very own specialty that they make. I mean, Japan is known for sushi, for crying out loud. And, uh, in the end, it came down to a, uh, rock, paper, scissors battle with Oolong, of all people. And, obviously, everybody got their butts kicked earlier. Piccolo, Android 18, uh, who else? Uh, shoot. It was three of them attacking him. I can't remember. Oh, Tien. I was about to say, I couldn't remember who the other person was. After that, Gohan decided to try and get involved in this, and he ended up getting slapped, or he ended up getting, he went to attack, and Beerus had Boo by his foot, and he just swung him around and hit Gohan with him. Took him out in one hit. And I'm like, that makes a little more sense, considering as far as we know, Gohan has not been training in the past... How long? What, four years? Five years? Something like that? So, yeah. He hasn't been training the whole time between the end of Kai and now. But, yeah. So he's gotten, from what I've heard, apparently Saiyans can get weaker if they don't train. Which has happened to Gohan at this point. I mean, at least Gohan and or Goku, uh, Goten and Trunks have been trying to do some somewhat training, but they're still young. <sighs> anyway, uh, they ended up tying the first two times, and Go Oolong decided to stupidly go for scissors the third time. And you would think that going for scissors the second time would have tipped him off. That Beerus was going to possibly go for Rock. Because he could probably use scissors again. And it's exactly what happens. And thankfully before Beerus can destroy the planet, Goku decides to show up. And obviously Goku still has no clue about the whole Super Saiyan God thing. And... He decides, what better person to ask about this sort of thing than Shenron? And they grab the Dragon Balls and ask Shenron about this. And he explains how it's possible to make a Super Saiyan God because there are currently none at the moment in existence. And the funny thing is, is that Beerus is a big fan, or not Beerus, uh, Shenron's a beer. <laughs> Shenron is a big fan of Beerus. And gets a little, uh flustered, I guess you could say, when Beerus is telling him to hurry up. And the others try the ritual that they're supposed to do, but I kept pointing out in this episode that, uh, Shenron specifically said five Saiyans have to do that with the other Saiyans, so there's technically needs to be six Saiyans. The five to do the power of the ritual, and the other one to actually become the Super Saiyan God. And Whis actually points this out when the ritual does not work. And, uh, this is when, uh, Videl gets involved and asks if it's possible that it would work with the Saiyan growing in her belly. So that means that they finally figure, they realize that she says that she is pregnant. So Gohan's going to be a father, Goku's going to be a grandfather, which is <laughs> crazy in my opinion. And they try it again, and the scenes that appear while they're doing the ritual is just insane. The clouds become yellow and gather around the ship enclosing it and it looks like several days pass above them. But they actually manage to do it. And I don't know why but they make it so that Goku's hair is now red. And his eyes are red. I don't know why. I guess to distinguish between a regular Saiyan and a Super Saiyan God. I don't know. But, yeah, that's what happens in this episode. Anyway, I will see everybody next time.